So yesterday I got this comment on one of my videos saying, how often do I lucid dream personally? Me. Um, and I thought this was a really good question because a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, okay, so I've got this big YouTube channel, growing YouTube channel at least, it's not big yet. You know, I've, I teach all these things about lucid dreaming, about why it's so awesome, about why you should learn it, why you should do it. But how often am I doing it? You know, as the actual owner of the YouTube channel, as the person sending all these messages and trying to get everyone interested in it, how often do I personally lucid dream? Well, to be honest, and the answer's going to surprise you, um, not as much as you think. Now, what I mean by that is that I, I like to set up a lot of things. I like to start companies or websites or projects. I like to sort of, I like the, the chase of business. Okay. I like setting up businesses. I like running online businesses and, and writing, blogging and making these videos. Right. So I have a lot of things that I love doing during the day. And so sometimes, I guess the short answer is life gets in the way. Sometimes I just don't remember to do reality checks, just like the rest of you guys. Sometimes I don't uh, have the time or don't don't want to find the time to do the techniques. Like I don't want to wake up at four, do the way back to bed, and then potentially be tired for the day because I've got so much other stuff that I need to be doing. That being said, I still naturally have three to four lucid dreams per week just because of the skills I've built up, the experience I have, um, and just sort of like as a residual and as a mainly as a side effect of meditation and just knowing this much about lucid dreaming. Because when you know a lot about it, it's just that much easier. It's just that much more likely that I'll be having a normal dream and I'll think, well, hang on, this isn't weird. This isn't right. This is weird. Like that that shelving unit shouldn't be stuck to the ceiling, you know? So, yeah, I mean, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, you know, you're the guy teaching this stuff. Why aren't you lucid dreaming every night? And that's a good question. Why am I not lucid dreaming every single night? Well, sometimes, you know, I don't. Sometimes you won't. It, it can't always happen every single night. Um, and if it did, that might get a bit boring. You might think, well, if it's like that every night, what is there to look forward to? you know, when you do. And another thing is, there are a lot of techniques, like the way back to bed, or the finger induced lucid dream, um, where it involves you interrupting your sleep. Um, and it involves you waking up really early, and then doing something like, whatever it is, the visualization technique, the wild. Um, and these things involve interrupting your sleep. Um, which for most of us, especially if you have a full time job, you can't really do that except at the weekends. And that's kind of cool as well, because it's, it's sort of like you work all week, you have your sleep pattern, your routine, whatever, and at the weekend, then you can say, right, well, now I have a couple of days off. Now I have some free time. It doesn't matter if I'm tired during the day. I can have a nap. I can have a nap in the afternoon, right? Uh, and so I hope that answers your question. Like, I do, I do lucid dream a lot, and it's great, of course, um, but I don't, as much as I used to, because when I first started out, when I first learned how to do it, it was so incredible. It was so new to me. Everything was new to me, and I just thought, well, I have to do try and do this every night. I became obsessed, right? But then, over the last couple of years, I've been more obsessed with um, things that I do in my actual life, in, in reality, like business and you know, building my website up and and all the other stuff. So I try to have a balance, and I think what's important to realise is everything in life needs to have a balance, okay? If you tried to lucid dream every single night, it might not be good for you, you know? You'll be sacrificing, almost you'll be sacrificing your waking life and your goals and dreams, whatever you want to do, your job, your sleep, energy, um, and a lot of your time in, in the day in order to just live a separate life at night, which I totally get because you can do whatever you want in your lucid dream. Um, you can experience anything, but at the same time, it's not what we, will, what we would define as real. It's a dream at the end of the day. So I think it's important to have a balance and it doesn't have to be like a strict balance. You know, you might have a couple of weeks where you say, right, I'm really going to lucid dream. I'm just going to devote all my time to it. 
I'm going to get these goals done. I'm going to try all these different things, right? But then you might also have a couple of weeks where you think, I really want to write a novel. Okay, I really, I really want to learn these these songs on on my piano, whatever the case may be. And suddenly your focus goes from lucid dreaming to achieving that goal in reality, achieving a different goal. And I think it's very healthy, a very natural part of life to have a balance between these two things. And that is why I've answered the question like that. So I hope that makes sense. If you have a question, please upvote. You know, if you see someone has asked the same question that you want to ask, upvote it. I'll try and answer it as soon as I can.